massage today. I've been having a little bit of TMJ, which is temporomandibular joint dysfunction. And so the right side of my face has been feeling really tight and swollen versus the left. I think I've been eating too much and I chew a lot on my right side. So I'm gonna go see a specialist for it, um, get like a facial massage and see if that'll help. It's been, it's been pretty painful though. So hopefully this helps a little bit. I have high hopes for this, so let's go. I'm here. Let's see if my face looks any different afterwards. So I'm back from the massage place. That was the most expensive massage I've ever gotten. Can't justify paying 300 bucks, so I will not be back. I fell asleep for, for part of it, so I don't remember all of it. My bed's a mess, and I'm hungry, and it's 8 p.m. So, I think, I think let's get some sesame chicken. Estimated arrival says 8.25 to 8.35 p.m. In the meantime, I'm gonna snack on some Cheez-Its. Something about these is just so addicting. I don't know what they put in here. But I'm all for it. Mmm. Busting. I got it. Food's finally here. It's about 15 minutes late, but whatever. It was $19 for an orange chicken and some rice. Hopefully it's good though, it's my first time ordering from this place. Oh. Let me go get a plate. It actually looks pretty good. This is like my perfect night in. Some Netflix and some Chinese takeout. Looks pretty good. Mm. It's got a little bit of a kick. I usually don't eat in my room, but today I'll make an exception. I feel so chubby. Chubby but happy. <laughs> Alright, it's time to wash up. I always start off by putting on the headband. Step one, cleanser. I don't think the headband's doing its job properly. Oh, my shirt's all wet. I took such a hot shower that I'm kind of like sweating. Toner's next. that absorb. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I clean my ears with a Q-tip. I feel like I've seen a lot of videos that say not to do this, but I've been doing it since I was a kid. Next step, face mask. I don't do one of these every night, but when it's a self-care kind of night, the face mask is coming on. Let's go watch some YouTube. It's been 30 minutes. You can see like the white of the mask, so that means it's dry, so I'll take it off. Ta-da! Kind of just pat around. Let all that good serum absorb into the skin. Can you see how shiny my skin looks? Moisture. Only two more steps, I promise. Now for the moisturizer. I recently got Invisalign. <laughs> I'll be honest, I have two, but I've only been putting in one because the bottom one is just so uncomfortable I can't fall asleep with it. Oh, that's all uncomfortable. All right, be right back while I figure this out. Last step is just an eye cream. Mm. 
Double chicken, please. Number one bar in America. Mm -hmm. The drinks are pretty good. All right, time to go home. Going to school in New York has been really convenient for me because my family lives very nearby in New Jersey and they'll do these weekly food drop-offs for me. So we have two bags this week, but it's nice because I don't have to meal prep. I don't have to cook or anything. And I really just like will heat stuff up and it saves a lot of time. Living next to the hospital, there's always sirens. quick walk through all the stuff I got. So we have odeng, which is fish cake with pine nuts. This is something new that my mom is trying, so she made it, I'm sure it's good. I've also got chicken with cashew nuts. This was like a recent addition to my weekly drop-offs and I really like it. Good source of protein and nuts are always healthy too. This is a Korean dish called dejigukbap or Korean pork stew. One of my favorite dishes of all time. Every weekly drop-off has these. And then a loaf of sourdough bread. I'm trying sourdough. I usually get whole wheat, but sourdough tastes good too. Pasta bolognese sauce. So it's actually turkey bolognese, so we can be a little bit healthy. But I recently got back from Italy and I was like, mom, I don't really want pasta anymore. <laughs> can we take a break? But it's been about a month, so back on the pasta grind. We've got some rice for the deji gupa and some kimchi and kakkabi, which also come with deji gupa. I got some chocolate chip cookies. So Baltazar is a bakery in New Jersey, one of my favorite bakeries. I grew, I grew up eating pastries and baked goods from Baltazar, and it's always really good. Got some goldfish. I'm a cereal snacker, by the way. And this, if you can tell me what this is, I'd be impressed. I'll tell you anyway. It's dok, or Korean rice cake. One of my favorite things just to add to soups, soups and stews. They don't taste like anything, but I like the texture, like the chewiness. It's like a rice cake. You can't go wrong with that. And then last but not least, a chocolate danish. I'll eat this in one second after I put everything in the fridge. Try the chocolate danish before I go work out. This is what it looks like. It looks pretty good. You can't really go wrong with chocolate and baked goods. Yeah, that's pretty darn good. <laughs> 